How has we this launched, been we, true in your shows specifically, so you think you can dance in your shows, Craig? Well, on our show, it's always, you know, dance is the narrative that runs through the show, and what people really connect with are, are, are the kids who are on there, actually. How it and, changes their lives. Yeah, and the big thing is, is that, you know, we, we, we say it's America's favourite dancer. We don't say it's the best dancer, because actually, of course they have to be of a certain standard, and of course they have to be good, and of course, you know, they have to be able to move on live TV. But it's all about who connects the most with the American public, and that's what gets people off their couches and makes them pick up the phone and vote. And so there's something that you have with people that win our show where they have this charisma, this fairy dust, this, this indefinable something that just draws people to them. Is there a contestant who comes to mind as someone who's really kind of stood out on your show? Season two, there was two guys who came right down to the very end. There was Travis Wall, and then there was Benji Schwimmer. And Benji Schwimmer actually won, uh, because ben Benji he was the one who is, you know, larger than life and he had some comedy and he always threw himself into everything. And Travis was actually the better dancer. Um, but what, and he was, but he was quieter. But what he did, was, and he didn't win the show, but what he actually did was he turned around and took the platform that he was given and he elevated himself to a position where he then went off and became a choreographer too. And he went and worked at that and now he's being nominated for Emmys himself for his choreography work. And so it's one of those stories that you've seen where you've seen the progression of it. And, and people know these kids' names because they've been part of their story. Right. So that, that's what it is for me. Yeah.